Chase for the Gridiron Goodwill Classic. And uh, some classic outfits tonight, none more classic than number one. We start at the top. It's not often we get the starting quarterback on the team, Kyle Ball. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing all right, man. What is this? This is a gamer. You know what? Today I decided to make my own costume. I usually go rent them, but today I went to Home Depot and got me a Did you put stuff on this, or is it, did it come this way? No, no, I put, I put the paint on there. What kind of paint? Was it finger paint you have laying around the house? It's house paint. You've been painting your house? No, it's, it's old, old paint from when I first got my house. It looks good. You look like a uh, reject from the Home Depot paint department, <laughs> and you've got the little mask going on here like you're afraid of SARS or something. I'm not sure what's going on. Yeah. How's the body, man? I mean, how's the leg, how's the knee? Get, run me through the physical part of playing 60 minutes uh, in this league yesterday. <laughs> So I'd be lying if I said I wasn't sore, but uh, that's football for me. It's good sore, right? It's a great soreness. Uh, I don't mind being sore, you know, being down, be able, be able to be out on the field. So it's one of those things where, you know, hopefully by the next couple of days I'll get, get healthy again and be ready to rock and roll. When did you know you were playing? I mean, I guess the rest of us sort of kind of got the vibe on Friday when Steve did practice, but I would think at this point, Steve not practicing on Friday, you still didn't know Friday night at 5 o'clock that you were definitely playing, right? I mean, no, I had, a, I had a pretty good idea on Saturday. Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, as opposed to getting that tap on the shoulder in the second quarter, hey, go in. I mean, we always hear about mental reps, but you've experienced every side of this equation. Yeah, just the game plans each week are different, and to be able to get the actual live reps with the players, you know, that's pretty much the only difference. Um, you, know, you can always take mental reps, but to be able to you know, physically drop back and throw the ball and you know, go through your reads out there on the field, that's, that's the biggest difference. Did it make you better yesterday to have been out on the practice field for those three days in your own mind? So definitely, definitely. I'm a big guy. I'm a big believer in practice. You know, anytime I get to take reps, practice, uh, I'm gonna take them. You know, if I can practice all three days, I'll practice all three days. What's the difference for you being the backup when? Okay, you're not getting first team reps. We get that. How much throwing are you doing after practice before late? And even with Steve, I mean, let's be honest. As a backup guy here, Steve's an older guy. The chances of Steve getting hurt are probably greater than, let's say, Peyton Manning. Who had your own call, especially with Steve's physical condition this year, not being 100%. Yeah, depending upon each week, you know, how Steve feels. I mean, obviously, I probably get a little bit more reps than, than many other backups in the league, but um, if I don't get a certain amount of reps in practice, then that's when I'll, I'll grab some guys afterwards and say, hey, you know, I need to get a couple of these, you know, these five routes or these eight routes, and uh, guys will stay. A lot of times it's not with the starters because they have to save their legs. You know, it'll be with guys that are on the practice squad or, or guys that aren't playing. So. I don't get you on much. I want to ask you this. The season had pretty much started. You were a pending free agent, and I have not heard your quotes. I mean, other than the crap that you give to quarters of your lot. This is just you and me here now. Why'd you stay? Why did you re up here knowing that maybe Steve gets hurt? Maybe you play 10 games. Maybe you win the Super Bowl as a starting quarterback here in Baltimore, and then you gave away your chance to be a free agent. I'm just, from a business perspective, from your agent, from your family, from your own soul, why? Why did you decide you wanted to stay here? Well, first and foremost, just because I'm comfortable here. I really feel like uh, I've been through a lot here. You know, there's been ups, there's been downs. And, um, I really just love this team a lot. There's a lot of great guys on the team. Uh, like you said, Steve's, you know, in the latter end of his career. And, uh, it's been a great opportunity. It's a great opportunity for me in the next two years to hopefully take over this team again. And, uh, you know, I, a lot of guys think the grass is always greener other places. I'm really happy here. I love Baltimore as a city. I love it as a town. And, you know, it's just a great place to be and somewhere that, you know, I, if I was able to extend it for an, another year, you know, that's what I wanted to do.
you said. It's just for a great cause. You know, anybody, anytime I can be associated with a, a great group like it is, and to be able to raise money for for charity, it's uh, you know, it's something special, something that means a lot to me, and you know, I'm glad to be able to part of it. Oh, here tonight, pretty much. I mean, Brian said to the media yesterday, "You're gonna play this." Week. Different preparation, different kind of week for you, or is it always the same? You no, know, I really like I say all, all the time. It's really the same preparation. You know, like, it, the only biggest difference is gonna be just those reps in practice. I mean, I want to watch just as much tape, you know, prepare just as much as I do each week. It's just a matter of being able to be out there with the guys, getting the reps, and you know, hopefully get ready to, to go up to Buffalo and have a great game. Yeah, I guess the fans freak out when we don't score 30 points, when we don't score touchdowns. Talk about the red zone a little bit. Yesterday, five field goals. Yeah, maybe you feel good about that. You come off the field, you got three points, you move the ball. Keep putting points up. 22 points is going to win a lot of games for us, but you want to score touchdowns, obviously. No, ultimately, that is the goal. I mean, it, yeah, 15 points is great. And, I mean, you want to get points in any game. 15 points is huge, like you said, but you know we're gonna keep working. You know they'll come, it'll come around, and, and we'll get those touchdowns. Uh, and when we do, you're right. It's gonna, you know, instead of 15 points, it's gonna be 35 points. Uh, but we gotta just, you know, keep being positive, keep looking at the tape, and just continue to keep getting better and, and find ways to get the ball in the end zone. I'm gonna say this on the record. We're gonna take care of the football Sunday. I gotta go to Buffalo. I'm getting on a plane to fly to Buffalo. We better win.